Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, and advice. And um, I'm reminded um, something that we touched upon uh, with respect to uh, Avraham's servant uh, setting up a, a match, a shidduch, uh, with respect to um, Rebecca, Rivka. Something that um, Lavan and Basul, the parents said, Me Hashem Yetza Hadvar. The matter stemmed from Hashem. Everything comes from God. God is behind everything. I've taught in many previous videos. There are no coincidences. Everything comes from the Almighty. Everything comes from God. And stories abound of seeming coincidences, a series of tiny little events which are so unusual they can only be uh, the hand of God. One particular story is told by uh, Rav Yitzhak Zilberstein about a young man. This young man uh, was in Jerusalem and uh, he by, ha by chance happened to be praying in a little tiny shul. He was davening in a, in a shtibel uh, in the Machron Moshe uh, section of Jerusalem. This is a neighborhood that this guy never went to before. He just happened to be there, and he happened to be going into this tiny little um, synagogue to pray. At the end of davening, he felt something. He felt a pull. He felt drawn to uh, look in on one of the shir, one of the, a class, a shir, that was going on in one of the, the, the little rooms off the main synagogue. He didn't know why, uh, but for some reason he, feel, he felt compelled to enter this room and um, look at the, the section of Talmud that they were uh, studying. And the young man, when he's relating the story uh, to uh, Rav Zilberstein, uh, reiterated that this practice was not typical of him. He looks at the, uh, the volume of Talmud uh, that they were studying and he know, he sees at the bottom that uh, it was, he sees that there were notes written all over the place and he notices on the bottom that there was a signature. And that signature was his grandfather. He was shocked. His grandfather was a great, great uh, Talmud Chacham, a great uh, Torah scholar. He had been killed during the Holocaust. To the best of everyone's knowledge, his shas, his complete volume uh, of all the, the, the volumes of the, of the Talmud, um, this, that set of Talmud uh, upon which he had written copious notes, they just presumed that that had also been des destroyed. The, the Nazis uh, threw it on fire. The family was very uh, heartbroken and bitter. Um, not only, obviously, of the death of the, uh, the grandfather, but also the loss of, uh, of these books, these, these valuable notes um, of the grandfather. This was, this was their link to the past. This was their Zaidi, their, their grandfather, speaking, uh, as it were, from, uh, from the grave. As soon as the class was over, the young man approaches the man who was studying from the, uh, from the Talmud to, to ask where he got it, where did the, who gave him this entire shas, the entire set of Talmud uh, as a gift. He said, well, um, after the war he met a man who gave him the set of Talmud on the condition that he would take it with him to Israel, to bring it to Haaretz, Haaretz Israel. The man, the young man told, uh, the, the, the guy studying the Talmud told, said, I would be delighted to return uh, this set of Talmud uh, to its rightful family. You can only uh, imagine the joy that the family uh, felt when they discovered that this personal set of Talmud, this shas uh, of their Zaidi, the family as a patriarch, had been found. After careful perusal of the Shas, once it returned, it was 
discovered that while the grandfather made many notes throughout all the, the, um, the, the many volumes of the Talmud, all the tractates, there's notes everywhere, only one place did he actually sign his name. And that was on the very page that they happened to be studying on the day that the grandson happened to be in Israel, happened to be at the synagogue, happened to walk in the class, and happened to notice the page at the moment that they were studying it. A few minutes before, it would have been the page before. A few minutes later, it would have been the page after. Nothing would have uh, happened. There are no coincidences. Everything comes from God. Everything is for a reason. Everything is for the best. Things that may seem like coincidences are actually the hand of God. Things that may seem awful and terrible at the time are meant so that things come out the way they're supposed to come out. Um, let's keep this in mind. There's no coincidences. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immunal Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.